Job creation is never a small issue in China, the world's most populous nation. As the country's economic growth is slowing down and the government plans to reduce industrial overcapacity, some jobs will have to go. But new ones will be created, said Chinese Premier Li Keqiang when delivering the government work report to the National People's Congress or the country's parliament. China aims to create at least 10 million new urban jobs while keeping the registered urban unemployment rate within 4.5 percent this year. The Minister of Human Resources and Social Security has acknowledged that it won't be easy to meet the targets, although they remain the same as last year. I have to say to meet the targets is very difficult. The job market for this year is complicated and the tasks are immense. There are three major factors affecting employment this year. The first is that cutting industrial overcapacities will lead to layoffs. The second is a weaker demand for labor and some companies are experiencing difficulties aimed at an economic downturn. And the third is a relatively big number of college graduates. But the minister insists that they are still confident of more new jobs. We are confident in accomplishing this year's job creation target. The key reason is that China's economy keeps a healthy and stable development. China is under economic transformation, trying to switch from an investment-led model to one that relies on domestic consumption, services and innovation. To achieve this goal, the government is actively slimming down bloated state-owned enterprises, especially in the coal and steel sectors. It's estimated that the two sectors will cut 1.8 million jobs. To cushion the effect of job losses, the central government has promised to allocate 15.4 billion U.S. dollars in two years to help laid-off workers find new jobs.